Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today is the daily read for the element of water. We're going to be looking into Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right, today is May 15th. All right, and we're going to jump right into it and get the uh, spirit animal for today. What's going on today for our beautiful water signs? Those of you who are feeling your water element, this could be those of you who are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, and Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mars. It could be that you have a Sun and a Fire sign, or Earth sign, but you have a lot of water placement in your chart, and today you're really feeling like you're in your water element, and this hopefully this reading will resonate with you, okay? So this is a general reading for the water elements, and obviously the water signs, all right? So, what's your spirit animal for today, May 15th? Give us a nice, clear representation for our element of water today, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And those of you who are feeling in your water aspects, your water elements of your chart. Oop, a lot of cards, won't take those. In your water aspect of your chart, all right? Give me one clear card. A lot of energies going on. Show us the spirit of the day, May 15th. For our lovely, beautiful water signs. The spirit animal for today is going to be the dolphin. Beautiful water energy. All right. So that upside down triangle is the alchemical symbol for water. Dolphin is all about healing energy, right? The dolphin is healing, deep empathy and understanding, tenderness. Um... Wisdom, there's a wisdom there with the dolphin. Um, there's a nurturing ability with the dolphin that is um, healing, that is generally healing. There are blessings that come with, you know, sw people swim with the dolphins, right? And it's like they found that, you know, just swimming with dolphins can be extremely therapeutic, can be healing. There's something about them. They have a deep, deep intelligence Right? A very deep intelligence that, that, you know, we still, you know, humans still can't figure out their, their speech patterns. They have a speech pattern, um, you know, a series of clicks and high echo sounds, sonar sounds, um, wavelength sounds, you know, that they use to echo through the water. Their communication is highly, and is very intricate. It's, it's, it's highly evolved, actually, you know. They definitely communicate you know, intricate instructions and, and um, feelings. They can communicate feelings with each other. It's really something amazing, the dolphin, all right? So very, very intelligent, and that's how you're feeling today. You're feeling healing, like your healing abilities are at their full height. You're feeling very magical today. Um, it also can suggest, the dolphin can suggest blessings as well, right? Um, the healing, the healing nature of the dolphin brings blessings. It is a blessing to heal, right? So there is a connection with blessings and healing. Um, it's why, you know, when, when you have healers, they, they also wish on you. They bless on you. There is a, there is a deeper connection between blessing and wishing blessings on people and healing. All right. So let's get right into the thought deck, right? And get our three cards for today for our element of water, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Beautiful energy, Dolphin. I love it. Beautiful. We're going to get three cards for our beautiful element of water today. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And that can be in any placement of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars. I have a Mars and Pisces myself. I don't have a lot of water in my chart, but I do have a Mars and Pisces. I'm not taking any flyer cards because this is just a general reading for today. So I'm just going to get three cards. Give me three clear cards for the aspect of fire today. And show me what's going on with that. Show me what's going on with our... We have any fire signs for today. Give me a clear message. Three cards. I'm asking. Oh, two of cups came out. 
Um, I'm asking for three cards, a clear message for those who are feeling in their water, their water element today, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Give me three. Give me a clear message. I know you want to throw cards out at me, but this is a daily reading, so be clear. Show it to me. Show me. on for our beautiful water signs today the magician the magist oh three of wands virtue beautiful and five of cups disappointment at the bottom of the deck we have three of cups okay so two of cups had popped out earlier um um so that was interesting but i wasn't taking flyers we want a clear concise message today at the bottom we have three of cups abundance and love Right? Three of Cups is abundance. It's the honeymoon period. It's the time when you've met uh, your significant other and you're just enjoying each other. The love is pouring out, right? Beautiful. Three of Cups. It's the beautiful progression from the Two of Cups where you first come together. You have your union and now you begin to celebrate the union. All right, you're feeling on top of the world. You're the magician. You're manifesting, right? Again, along with this dolphin energy. So today, you guys are feeling very good, water signs. You're feeling in your own element, right? You feel great today. You really feel, um, you feel like, you know, yourself. If you haven't felt like yourself in a long time, you're feeling like it today. Um, you're feeling very inspired today. Three of Wands is talking about virtue, Right, but it also talks about feeling inspired, feeling sun and Aries, feeling like you're ready to move on your vision, you're ready to take the next step on your path, you're looking to the other shore. If you look, if you know the three of wands in the traditional Rider Waite deck, it's the character that has the one wand in his hand and he's looking at the distant shore because he's ready to move on his path, right? He knows where he's going, he's already accomplished some things, and now he's on to the do. To, to the next step three is the divine number, the trinity, right? So now you've begun to start to incorporate all three aspects of yourself, right? That's the ego, the spirit, and the soul. So, I mean, it's beautiful, right? And that's how you're feeling. You're feeling very inspired today. There may be some disappointment, five of cups. It may be, um, you know, there may be something coming up that you're feeling a little bit disappointed about. Try not to be too um, disheartened, right? Five of cups is emptiness. You see the cups, they're glass cups, they're empty. You didn't lose something that you didn't have. This might just be a realization that you're coming to as a result. It could be that as a result of this, right? You water signs, as a result of feeling really good and coming into your own, increasing your self-esteem and therefore having an increase in your third eye kind of wisdom, um, also in your three of wands, right, virtue, and feeling that virtue, right, you may have opened your eyes, you may have been working with somebody recently, giving somebody some healing, love, some nurturing, and you've opened your eyes today, today may be a realization for you that some relationships are not worth your time and to put your energy into other relationships. There's still the, um, the vines are, are in the form of the butterfly, so sign of transformation. That just shows you that even in, in all relationships, even empty, shallow relationships, there's always something that can be learned from it. There's always, a, uh, there's always, um, the potential for transformation, even if that relationship doesn't transform into something significant itself, out of the disappointment and the realization that the, that this was right for you to begin with, therein alone is an innate transformation. All right? So this is what you're looking at today, water signs. I want to keep it short and sweet for May 15th. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If it resonated with you, remember to like, subscribe, and share. Hit the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. All of this helps my channel to grow. And for now, I'm just going to tell you lovely water signs. I love you all. Bye-bye.